Hello, Marcus Lim here with Frank Miller Sin City, a dam to Q4. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the second right, in the series of Sin City uh, stories. Uh, and this is the Deluxe Edition as well. So, <clears throat> just a month ago, um, I think uh, Dark Horse came out with the first volume, right, which was A Hard Goodbye, uh, which is the Deluxe as well, the stick case and everything. <clears throat> So yeah, so this is now the second one. <clears throat> okay, so pretty nifty looking. Previously I only had, you know, like there was paperback uh, and also this kind of hardcover one that I got uh, around the time of the release of the, the movie. Okay, so it's now a major motion picture. <clears throat> but yeah, um, and, and obviously there was a big damn Sin City as well. But yeah, that's a really big one. So this one just has the entire <coughs> six issues of them to Q4 um, and it's uh, just like the first volume right this this has um, matte finish spot gloss foil stamping all the all that good stuff and a matching portfolio featuring the deluxe new, new artwork which is always cool <coughs> new Frank Miller artwork. And cloth covered slipcase, right? And yeah, and, and the other cool thing is, you know, once the whole, the full, you know, seven volume set is complete, right? If I put them all side by side, apparently it spells out Sin City. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, definitely be uh, pretty exciting to uh, see how that looks like. <clears throat> But yeah, so let's have a look at this one, which is, I have to say, uh, probably the one of the most popular tales in Sin City. Definitely uh, one of my top favorites, for sure. Um, it's probably one uh, one of the, um, well, I would say the Sin City story that I've probably read more times than any other. So let's just take this out from the slipcase. <clears throat> So that's the book, and here's the portfolio. So let's have a look at the portfolio artwork. There you go, okay. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah, this is new artwork um, by Frank Miller. So that's Dwight, right? Bandage up his face and everything. Um, is that Gale? I think that's, that's probably Gale, yes. Um, yeah, so Dwight and Gale. In um, yeah, M to Q4, very cool. <clears throat> All right, so let's have a uh, look at the book now. Okay, so then the Q4. So all um, seven, uh, seven, sorry, six issues collected. Volume two, a Dam to Q4, with thanks to Mickey Spillane, a great, great influence on Frank Miller. Right, the very hard boiled style of <laughs> can tell, right? Just just by looking at it. <clears throat> Crime Noir uh, and the dialogue, right? So pulpy. Uh, which, you know, just works really really well for the kind of look and feel that Frank Miller's going for. That's Dwight, okay. Um like uh yeah, girls of all town, like a men and I got Memon, sorry. <laughs> Greek name. Um, it is an interesting thing. Uh, there's a lot of, I don't know, like subtle Greek references. Uh, in, you know, from the use of the names like Agamemnon to, you know, the fact that this guy, um, Mark, who shows up <coughs> in this volume, we last saw him in volume 1. Right, and he kind of died at the end, but so it's cool to uh, see him appear again. Um, uh, Ava appears, right? And you can see, uh, oh by the way, there's this ribbon. Uh, but you can see how there's a very manga-ish quality to this as well, right? You can see how the scene sort of just slows down um, at times. Right, so it's a kind of a mix of like manga, this ribbon, 
manga and uh, you know Amer more Amer like the more fast pace of the American uh, and European comics, which is you know what Frank Miller has always been trying to do a mix of the two. Hmm. But yeah, back to what I was saying about you know the Greek kind of mythology references. You know, Ava herself, you could say, may bring to mind like goddesses like Aphrodite. In fact, she's even referred to as goddess herself, you know, with sort of allure and power, I guess, over men. <laughs> um, because that's what she is. Damn to kill for. <laughs> Probably one of the uh, top, you know, um, femme fatales in all um, fiction, right? <clears throat> and yeah, and I guess. This also, you know, as I mentioned before, was also made into a, uh, a movie, right? In fact, it was the second Sin City movie that, uh, you know, that took the main story from this this exact story here, then to Q4, <clears throat> uh, which was unfortunately not too, as well received as the first film, but I still really liked it. <laughs> By the way, here, here's a really cool uh, battle between Manut and Marv, you know, but it's like the the unstoppable force going up against an immovable object. Alright, so here's Damien Lord and how Dwight just pounds him and wears the same really. And then Ava reveals her true, uh, true self, right? <clears throat> Which was, you know, sort of like the series big twisty moment. Um, but obviously, yeah. What happens next is, yeah, we got these two detectives. I think they're called Maud and Bob, I think. And slowly, one of them gets seduced by Ava as well. So here's Deadly Little Miho, <laughs> played in the film by Jamie Chong. Um, Eva, uh, by the way, was played by Eva Green, okay, and Dwight in the film was played by Josh, Josh Brolin. Um, but yeah, so you can see, um, yeah, here's the interrogation themes, detectives trying to find out more about Dwight. And here's this exchange with, between Dwight and Newt and how she keeps talking saying how she's like a goddess. <laughs> um, and here goes. So approaching the end, climax now. You can see you know, Miho <laughs> uh, making her moves. And yeah, just, just look at how amazing some of the artwork is, right? All these flash pages. Um, and yeah, here goes <coughs> the climax. And we see the end. Uh, Dwight cutting her down. He says they'll, uh, they'll never catch us. And so that's it. Uh, here's. Oh, this is from the portfolio, isn't it? Gail and Dwight. Ava, I guess, I think, or oh, what is it, girl? Um, okay. There you go. I give anything just to cut loose, just to feel the fire one more time, Dwight. Okay, <clears throat> so there you go. Um, second volume in the can. Okay. Um, and I guess, yeah. Look forward to the next one, which I think you know from this from how they've been coming out. Looks like they are gonna do it one a month, right? So you've all be done in seven months. And as I said this was only one, okay, and this is two. Uh, so yeah, place side by side. Not sure. I mean, that's an S. Looks a little bit like an eye. 
I think. <laughs> the thing about it, right? S I N C I T Y. There's seven letters, and there's going to be seven volumes. So I think that you know each volume corresponds to a letter, which is pretty neat. Well, anyway, um, that I think that's what's going to happen. But in any case, yeah. So this is Sin City: A Demo Q4, one of my all-time favorite Sin City uh, comics by Frank Miller. Um, really glad to finally have it in deluxe format. Um, you know, so I can fully get the full experience. <laughs> um, so yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed this look at this deluxe edition. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another video.